All right. Mario. Here they go. Mr. Chief. So Mr. Chief is from Merced. Doesn't go to UC Merced, but out of nowhere last year just started coming to the tournament and started beating everyone at the top of the PR in SenCal with Game & Watch. Just a Wi-Fi warrior. Started doing well, beating all of our top players. And Dre, known for being a top player of, of NorCal and SenCal. Top 10 on both PRs at different times. Great Mario player. Has won two tournaments this week already. I'm just like, you know, it's different locals. Playing really well. And it's going well so far versus this Game & Watch. Misses double jump for that forward air right there. But yeah, Mr. G just came out of nowhere. He's beat Woody, he beat Spot. Like recently, it's just taking names. Yeah, great, great stuff. Like really, like just demonically powerful game it was. Absolutely not. No, I mean Dre's a grinder. Dre goes to tournaments all the time, fights you know all kinds of characters that you can imagine. Yeah, definitely so far, very well. Stuck in that back air. Yeah. <laughs> oh, big down air. Yeah, no, it's, it's great, honestly, like, because I play Squirtle as well. Like, it's good not just for trying to, you know, get some cheeky kills off stage, but it's also good for taking center stage if you're stuck on a ledge or something like that. Evening it up with that powerful up smash. Up throw, it's a down air. Another down air. Oh, you tried to kill him at 30. Good shield grab. You know, the, the frame window for shield grabbing Mr. Game & Watch's Nair is very, very, very tight. It's minus seven on shield, I believe. So it's really hard to do anything if you're getting nared on your shield. But Mario's one of the characters that can do it. A fast shield grab and a very, very fast up the out of shield. Absolutely, yeah. So far, Mr. Cheese is not doing so good at finding his opening. Oh, wow. That was a great up smash. Knocked that in there. Up almost an entire stock right now, Dre. Boom. There's another up air. <laughs> All right. Yeah, not going to be able to punish that narrow shield that time. A little bit of damage with the up airs. Oh, there's another Nair. Yeah, it's just a ton of damage. Like, it's hard to get out of it with any character. Great disjointed. Yeah, great disjointed moves. And it's just like the combo game is, it goes forever. Big combo here. Almost got the DI mix up there and killed him early. Game & Watch is tied with Squirtle for the fourth lightest in the game. Absolutely. Especially if you DI that wrong, even a little bit. I mean, you're going to that top blast zone. Nice, that was a great up B. That move is so disjointed above him that it actually destroyed the bomb, too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Wow, the forward still killed him. That move is so deceptively strong. Oh, this could be bad. All right, he slipped out of the air, but he's still taking some up air. This is not good for Dre. He was in the lead, but it's starting to slip away from him real quick. Oh, he tried to lift trumpet, but he narrowly missed his, his uh, run off the ledge. Oh, that was a American air dodge right there. Not so good. He's going for the edge guard. He could die to a back air off stage. Oh, he just tried to. Oh, I cannot believe he did that. Oh, and there it goes. He dropped his lead. And this is what Mr. Cheese is known for. You know, he just keeps you in disadvantage for so long with Game & Watch. It, 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 he really plays Game & Watch the way that makes you hate to play against Game & Watch. You know, everyone's going to hate to play against this character. You know, it's, it's the OG Kazuya and Steve. Before they even came out, this character was there. And he would just take you to zero, to 100. You had the lead, but you don't anymore. And now you're down one game in a best of three set. Yeah, certainly. certainly. He just waits for his opportunity, and he'll definitely create them in certain situations. Let's see if Dre can start this match the way he started the last one. Good frame trap here. 
Wow, even uh, Nair as safe as Marius is not going to be that safe against an up out of shield like Demon Watcher, which we didn't see utilized as much last game. I believe so. I, I think Mario's is, is that fast as well, and Lucina's. Lucina's is actually intangible on frame one. Uh-oh, here comes the chair. Yep, there it is. I called it. I mean, that combo is true. It's a true combo. You get stuck on those little pieces of bacon, and then he just runs up and f kills you, and there's nothing you can do about it. And it's getting out of control for Dre. You know, he had a great lead, but he's a visibly emotional player, and this is getting downhill very quickly. There's another up the outer shield. But yeah, like I was saying, they're both. Both of their upbeats are frame three out of shield. Lucina's is frame three as well, but it has intangibility on frame one. I'm surprised that we're not seeing upbeats out of shield from Dre with the Nairs on the shield. He's tried to do things like back air, and he's tried to do things like grab, but no upbeats, even though it's his fastest out of shield option. Back air, he's still living. Even a light character like that is still living. There it is. Close out the kill. All right, let's see if he can do it. There's that flood like we were talking about earlier. Great usage of it. Oh, wow. That Nair is just so disjointed. It's going to hit you from a mile away. Jumping away. Oh, that was a good episode. He was looking for a grab. Oh, no punish from the dash attack. Oh, he just waited for the air dodge. He almost killed him. The back air. Oh, what a roll. Waited for the down air. Great stuff. Good parry. Oh my god. He's cutting it close there. Wow, the chair. The chair is so strong. Still living. No fish this time. Or bacon, I guess. Not, not fish. <laughs> I always want to call them fish. They just look like fish. <laughs> oh. He almost got him with the DI mix up with all that rage. Jumping out of the way was definitely the move there. You don't want to get caught in a tech chase. All right, he's playing defensively better than he was at the beginning of this game. Great. Almost. Almost caught him with that down. Wow, what an up smash! He totally read him falling through that platform. Not at, not at zero. What he'll do is he'll... At zero percent. Mario, this might be his biggest weakness. He struggles to start combos, you know? So what he can do is he can, he can grab you, he can up throw you, and he can down air. But beyond that, you've got to get to around 30% before you can start your down throw into up air combos. You can get the spike off the edge, or you can like do platform extensions to kill off the top. But at this early, Mario's really going to struggle to get a lot of percent. There we go. Now he's got him at 30. Oh, it really is. Here we go. Here's some damage. If you can get him with it, some solid up airs at the ledge. There's some good damage. 82%. Now this is how it looked at the end of the last game. Let's see if he can hold on to his lead. Oh, big up. He had a shield. Good shield patience. Unless the players he would have played both shield in that situation. <laughs> Oh, shield poke that time. Lingering gas attack. Oh, snap. This is getting a little rough. It's getting a little messy here. Good grab. Great grab. <laughs> Uh-oh, the shield grab. Or not the shield grab, the dash grab. Not bad. This is so close. Oh, he just ran up to him. Great spacing, though. Great, great spacing. With the, the, the shield dash. Oh, he almost killed him off of that. If he just did a short hop downer, I think that would have done him. Oh, my God. And there it is. Got the back air. Game three situation. This could be a top eight set with how good these players play in locals. But this is no local. This is cowhouse. This is a regional. We got some top 30 players in the world here. So we got players like Dre and Mr. Cheese fighting to get out of pools, I think. This is winner's round three. I think this is to get out of pools. That's crazy. Absolutely stacked bracket. So hard. We got people like we saw last game on stream was Xavier versus Carvia. Carvia, a hidden boss of Senkel, possibly a 10, top 10 player versus the second best Wii Fit trainer in the world. That was super close as well. And that was also to get out of pools. We're not even in top 32 yet.
Yeah, very, very interesting. I mean, like, you're not going to have much places to run for either of them. So both of them are going to be more susceptible to getting hit by those combos. Just like that, you don't have anywhere to run. You can go to the ledge, you can try to go to the platform, but there's just so much less space to run away. Here we go with the fish. That's going to do a lot of work if you can get those. Uh-oh. All right, di up. That's great. We got a little bit of a floaty character in Game Watch as well. Strong lead for Mr. Cheese so far. Ah, and there goes the chair, the sliding F-tilt. That's crazy. Okay, stuck in a couple up airs. Oh, there's the down air to get a disadvantage. You know, like I mentioned earlier, like Steve, you know, Steve can just use Anvil to get out of disadvantage or minecart. Game Watch just uses down air. And you don't even need resources for that. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, he's got the chair. He's a locksmith. He's got that key. All right, stock number two. The dash attack and no punish. Wow. You know, it's hard because he hurt box shifts. It's hard to tell which side he's going to go on. Up, he had a shield. Here comes the down air. Oh, no follow-up. Good SEI. Good SEI in that combo. Great grab. That was a good dash grab. Recognizing that the Nair was facing the other way, so he had an opportunity to punish it. Wow, he got the shield grab this time. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't go for up air into forward air. There we go. Now we're starting to see some up out of shield start to connect. Oh, he almost killed him! That F smash is so strong. Oh, he got him! He got him. Ah. Uh, all right, we got a lead for Mr. Cheese here. This is getting real close. Oh, the tilting of the shield. All right, we're seeing some real elite defense from Dre. I mean, he's reacting to everything, picking his options exactly as he is. Boom, he read his roll. He covered it with the up smash. What a reaction. Air dodge. Oh, barely missing these grabs, which is going to start a lot of damage, just like that up the out of shield. How's he going to get out of this advantage this time? There we go. Jumping away. Air dodging to the ledge. Oh. These multi-hits. Yeah, you got to really watch out for them. Oh, there we go. We're starting to see some tricky stuff to get off the ledge. This is not good. He's in disadvantage. He's at 65. Mr. Cheese has a big lead. He could kill him right here. He can get these fish. What an F-tilt. That was great. He needed that. That was perfect. The cross-up. Big damage. Uh-oh. That's not good. Mario is at kill percent. Strong character like Damian Watch. Oh, here come the up -ears. Narrowly missed a massive combo. Uh oh. Oh, he almost got him. He almost killed him. Not going to approach that up smash just like you should. Watch out there. Little, little preemptive with that. Oh, the cape was perfect. Almost killed him there. This is the last lock situation. Oh my God. Don't. Oh, he's in his face. They're both looking for their kill options. Oh, he could have smashed him right there. Oh, the kill sparks! The kill sparks! He was throwing pixels off. Oh, he could have smashed! Oh my god. The chair would have killed. He grabbed them. What a grab. You have to be so brave to grab in that situation. Oh! That downer might have killed. Oh! The up air did it! Wow! Oh my gosh! He killed him with up air! What a conversion! Mr. Cheese up beat. He narrowly avoided it. Micro space it. Hit him with the up air to kill him off the top. That was crazy set. That was for top 32. Top 32 winners qualifier. What a set. This tournament is already crazy.